Long time no see everyone, it's your old mate Jakargon, back at it again, this time with the third part of my fashion style evolution thing, I still haven't figured out how to call it, but I'll get there someday, that's what these videos are for. Today we're going to be talking about the uniform. So from the last video, I'd picked up a couple of pieces, well three pieces to be exact, the denim jacket. Uh, the Julius hooded number here. Look, it's very like, you know, I'm here to like Gregorian chant you into oblivion. Um, and the thin material uh, Rick Owens pod shots. And then after that, as we left the video, I kind of was in a place where I really didn't know what exactly I was going for or like what I was really doing with these clothes. So I made a bit of an informed effort and I had a bit of a think and this light from outside is just looking terrible right now. I'm so sorry. And so I figured, okay, I'd like some stuff that goes together. Which way am I going to go? Am I going to go the Julius way? Am I going to go the kind of like punky denim jacket way? Or am I just going to get some Rick Owens? And I settled on the Rick path and picked up another pair of pod shorts, a oversized top and a pair of Ramones. Now, before I get into showing those, I did get a different pair of Ramones at first. They were a pair of all black uh, vegan ones in size 43, which I think is a 10 US. That's what I thought. Long story short, they looked like clown shoes. They were far, far, far too large for me. I got rid of them and ended up picking up a regular canvas pair um, of Gumtree of all places for a really amazing price. Um, more on that later. So let's look at what we picked up. First of all is the long oversized top. Kind of has this nice little couple of bars and this line that goes all the way down through the middle. And the back also has a line. I don't know if you can see it, but it's generally present on most Rick items. Here are the two bars. This is a dark shadow top. I don't actually know the name of this, but I did pick it up off Grailed alongside a pair of these pod shots. I think this material might be Felpa. Again, they look really large like a bucket and there goes my camera having a rough time trying to expose properly. But these are a bit thicker and greater for the winter months. Really, really rate these shorts. Like I, I reckon everyone should own a pair of these shorts. They're just, they're brilliant. And I prefer the thicker material than the thinner material. Different strokes for different folks, but this I can wear any time of the year round. With researching the, the shorts, and the shoes, I noticed that everyone would always have like their legs fully covered. I was wearing sort of like longer socks, but then figured it would be also ideal to do the whole covered leg thing. So I picked up a couple of pairs of footy socks, soccer socks, football socks, whatever you'd like to call them from wherever you may be in the world. Uh, but these go up to my knees. I guess call them knee high socks. These go up to my knees and sort of like cover the whole leg spectrum from bottom to top and kind of unifies the whole look. In my opinion, I guess if everyone else is doing it, they must be onto something as well. These are like $10. And finally, um, the shoes. These are some basic canvas Ramones as seen in a lot of K-pop actually. I think a big thing of me getting into this is noticing that there's a lot of Rick Owens in K-pop, or at least noticing more clothes outside of just Rick Owens in K-pop stuff. It's kind of cool. I guess it's like a, now that I know the glass is broken and now I know sort of thing. Um, I love these shoes. I got these for $250 Australian, which is significantly cheaper than they seem to be going for. Just a lucky, a lucky day on the marketplaces and hashtag blessed. They're also pretty dirty. I seem to have stepped in something. I got to clean them. Uh, love them. So let's not wait any longer. Let's get to it. Here are some of the looks that I came up with. Well, really basically the only look I came up with with these items.
right, so that's what I was able to come up with, with what I had. Really, again, just keeping it simple. And then, like, the most was, like, putting the dark shadow top over the Julius long sleeve as just the way to layer and kind of, like, cover the arms as well. I kind of like it, but it also feels a bit weird with the neck, considering the Julius top has a bit of a longer, a bit of a wider neck, sorry, compared to the, the Rick one, which has a less conventional shape of a neck and in the end it really comes down to me figuring out a type of like uniform and a thing that you kind of wear and you can wear day in day out and you're just used to it and you know that it looks good and it kind of represents you in a way and I really like wearing this combo anytime I think it always looks nice uh, it makes me feel good which I guess is the important part and it's good to have that kind of fallback or at least base that you know you like and you know you look good in at least I think I look good in it. Yeah, what's your uniform? Like, what's the kind of thing that you like to wear that you feel represents you? For me, I was on this for about a month or so, maybe a bit longer, as the only thing that I was vibing with. But then comes, you know, development and trying to expand upon that. And that's something we'll talk about in the next video. But for now, yeah, I guess think about, it's good to think about what represents you and how you like to be represented with what you wear, because I guess fashion is a form of self-expression and that's something that I'm slowly learning still to this day. And yeah, I'm enjoying sharing this with y'all. Hope y'all enjoying it too. It's a nice little diary of sorts. Um, but yeah, until next time, y'all take care, have fun, be safe. And as always, don't do anything I'd do. Bye-bye.